Every hot girl has IBS and it's because you're stressing. We're not gonna get a Prince Charming to come save us. Becoming the woman of your dreams. We live in a world where we want to be independent. We want to be financially free. We want to be living our best lives. We want to celebrate being a woman, not trying to hide it. If you feel like you're struggling to become the woman of your dreams, then this video is perfect for you. I've got some tips that's going to help you feel like you are entering a new era in your life. So let's get into it. By the way, my name is Tivi. I love making videos that help with self-improvement, how to be a creator, and a lot of other things. So make sure you guys subscribe so you're not missing out. First things first is us women need to stop with the victim mentality. You don't see men going around being like, oh my God, like I feel like so helpless, so hopeless. Like they don't do that. They don't do that. And so we shouldn't either. You have to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You have to stop feeling pity for yourself. The truth is, is that no one's going to come and save you. No one's going to feel sorry for you and be like, here, let me lend you a hand. That's not the real world that we live in. Even though that's a fairy tale and it sounds nice to us, that's not really the truth. And being delusional about that is not going to help you. You have to understand that the only person that has the best interest for you is only you. And the only person that's going to really save you from anything is yourself. Like Disney is unrealistic as fuck. We're not going to get a Prince Charming to come save us. And even if they do, that's not the way you should be living. Because in another situation, in another scenario, where that prince charming can't help you you don't have the skills or the mindset to help yourself so we can't keep also relying on men or other people just because they did it once we need to be able to help ourselves be able to get out of situations and that doesn't happen when we feel bad for ourselves so stop feeling sorry for yourselves and stop blaming yourselves as well the next thing i think is so important on becoming this woman that you've always wanted to become is be delusional. If you think you can't win, then you won't. The number one thing that actually leads to actions is our thoughts. If we start thinking that we're gonna become this person, if we start thinking we're gonna achieve this, then we will eventually take the steps that will lead to that thought because we truly believe it. Let's say you wanna make fried rice and you don't have eggs and you're thinking about getting eggs. After a certain point, you are going to get your ass up and go to the grocery store and buy eggs. It's inevitable. And just like that, the more you think about something, eventually you're just gonna do the step. And even if you don't know what those steps are in the moment, it will come to you. You don't need to stress about it. It will come to you. You just need to let it be and let everything go in a flow. This can apply to anything in your life in terms of personal relationships, like career goals, financial, you always want to be delusion in what you delusional, sorry, in what you want because without that delusional thought, you're never going to want to get up and do the actual steps it requires to achieve that goal. Okay, this next tip is really important. It's stop people pleasing. This took me a very long time to learn, but if you want to become this woman, that you you're essentially want to become someone who you look up to part of that is not pleasing people and doing things for validation because that validation that you seek is very temporary it's only it's not going to fill anything for you it's not filling a void it's a temporary band-aid eventually you're just going to get to the point where you're like why am i doing this this doesn't serve me. This doesn't help me in any way. All I'm doing it is for validation from others or making sure that I don't upset anyone. But is it upsetting you though? Like, is it hurting you to do these things? And is it lowering your frequency, your energy to do these things? Or even just pleasing people and the, and the energy it takes to want to get that social validation we do a lot of things for social reasons and there's gonna be a point in time where you just look back and you're like what the hell was i thinking why did i waste my time on this person or why did i waste my time doing this when there was so many other things that i could have done and usually we have those moments when we're 70 and on our deathbed but I'm here to tell you that you don't need to wait till that point. You can do it right now. It, all it takes is reflection, whether it's through journaling or sitting back or taking a day off in the week and really looking at what purpose is everything that you do serve? Like, is it really bringing happiness and joy? Is it bringing me financial freedom? Is it bringing me health and wellness? Because if it's not, then you it shouldn't be part of your routine. This one is really important. Listen up. I mean, all my points are important, but quality plus quantity 
is what you should strive for. It's the fastest way to get what you want. When you want something, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's social media, whether it's physical health, whatever it is, when you put a lot of time into something and that time that you put in is optimized to whatever it is, whatever task that you're doing or performing, that will give you the fastest results. Now, I'm not saying that you should always go for fast results. Some things take time naturally, but to make it as quick as you can, you need to do quality and quantity, guys. Put meaningful time and put a lot of time into it. And you got a formula that is going to work in almost anything you do. This one is something I would love to do myself down the line or even any soon actually, which is getting therapy. I think that getting therapy is a, such a hot girl thing to do. I think that it really helps you understand yourself as a person and things that you can't see for yourself, you can have someone else see for you. It also allows you to have better strategies when it comes to coping with things or how to make sure that you don't overstress and these are things that definitely reduce your quality of life. And especially if you've had past traumas, it's even better. You know, I think everyone should go to therapy, but a lot of people don't believe in it, especially like if you have parents who are very old school or they're immigrants, they don't understand what therapy does for people, especially in the social media age. I feel like it's like a necessity. I feel like it should be mandatory or something. How can you become a dream woman by not even helping yourself? You can only become a woman of your dreams, the best ideal version of yourself if you help yourself. And like I said at the beginning, no one's here to help you. You gotta go take the steps to help yourself. Do not, this is for my girlies in a relationship, do not do anything or change anything about your life for a man unless it's for the better. What I mean by that is do not move across the country do not do anything like that where you just drop your whole life and you go and you depend almost in a sense on this on this man. Drop everything and move across the world for a man that you just know, barely know, just getting to know, even well know, right? Always, there's always can be a compromise. But if he's willing to move for you, then that's fine. <laughs> Don't bend your life and the way you live your life for a man. If he comes in and he's like, babe, I wanna improve our life together. Let's go work out together. Let's be healthier together. Of course, do those things. But if it's things where you have to disrupt your normal, where you have to let go of things that you know keep you sane, that no, you know keep you in a health, that keep you in a healthy stance, letting go of things that keep you in a healthy stance, like physically, mentally, financially, emotionally, socially, whatever that is for you, you have to keep your boundaries straight and make sure that they understand that. And if they can't understand that or if they pressure you into doing something, where you are starting to take more sacrifices, it is not worth it. And sometimes we do things blindly when we're in love. And I'm here to tell you, stop being blind. It is not worth it because if things go south, which it does for a lot of people, especially if you're put in a position where you have to take a lot of sacrifices in the first place and not in a good way. Yeah. I've been saying a lot of stuff about protecting your energy from other people. This point is actually protecting yourself from yourself. As women, if you want to become a woman, that woman, a better woman, the woman of your dreams, we are not focused on other women. We are not focused about comparing to other women. We are not focused on jealousy. We're not, we're not emitting those emotions because that is only going to bring us down. You're bringing another woman down. Like it's not helping anyone in this situation. We cannot project our insecurities on other women who are doing better. These are actually qualities that take away from becoming a better woman. Like we all do it. If you sit here and deny that you don't do it, you are lying to me. We all do it. Jealousy, envy, comparison it doesn't leave you down a good path it leaves you down a dark path and it is not gonna help you i think we can all win i think there's space money energy time men in the world where we can all get what we want so when you want to become a woman please block all that stuff out because you don't want yourself to be the reason why you're not doing well in life and that can happen and it can happen so subconsciously it can happen consciously, like it can happen with the blink of an eye, your life can change and you're just, you've are just you just become this person. And I don't think that that will bring you any good by putting out bad into the universe and to other people and other women. I swear by this. It is making sure your gut is clean. If your gut is clean, your mind is clean. If your gut is clear, you can think better. I think that a lot of times when we stress, 
we see it in our gut first we always have ibs like every hot girl has ibs and it's because you're stressing you are not taking care of your gut and obviously that comes with taking care of your mind but the two are related so take care of your mind and take care of your gut making sure you're feeding it the right foods um eating a variety getting your vitamins in going for a hot girl walk whatever it is that you need to do i mean you should be doing all of those but whatever it is that you're not doing, add it to it and making sure that that is a priority. A lot of like diseases and start start off in the gut. Like I just truly believe that without your gut being in a good place, you are not going to be able to find who you are. You're not going to be able to think straight. So make sure you are on that. I take a couple of supplements. I making I make sure, I try to make sure my diet is good. I'll leave them down below. I don't remember them off the top of my head. I always make sure I take my vitamins. At some point, like I did not have good bacteria in my gut, so I started taking probiotics. You can obviously consult with your doctor or even a nutritionist to see how you can better improve your gut. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to become the woman of your dreams. I really hope that these tips you take with you and you apply it to your daily life. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe. It would mean so much to me and I will see you guys in my next video.